Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all fire signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Four of Cups clarified by the Moon, we have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords, and uh, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces or pretty much any zodiac sign as long as this is your ex coming back from the past trying to um, you know, get back into your good graces. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like. The answer is going to be no. Uh, you're going to definitely, you will definitely reject them. Okay, even though they'll try. We got the Page of Pentacles uh, on the bottom of the deck, so this is somebody reaching out to you. Um, yeah, it's your ex. We'll talk about uh, that in just a second. I'll, I'll explain how I know that. But the Page of Pentacles, it's a, it's an apology, and at the same time, there's going to be something attached to that apology. And what I mean by that, it, they may bring a gift, right? It could be like a sentimental gift, something that would remind uh, you of the good times you guys used to have together. It could be like tickets to a show or a concert of your favorite band. Perhaps you had your own song, and uh, this band is playing, or something along those lines. It, so they will bring something. All right, um, we have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords right next to the deck. You see those three cards? The Six of Cups is a card of somebody from the past, right? And uh, it's also a soulmate card, to be fair, but uh, it's a card of somebody coming back from the past. And uh, with the Ten of Swords clarifying, this is you shutting them down, you know? This is you turning them down, sending them back to the past where they belong. The Five of Pentacles, that the Six of Cups and uh, the Ten of Swords are clarifying, this is them crawling back to where they came from, okay? <laughs> Feeling all left out in the cold. The Queen of Wands, the first guy that came out, that's you, by the way. <laughs> Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, the Four of Cups, the next card over, is a card of a rejection. This is you rejecting them, right? Kind of similar to the Ten of Swords energy. And uh, the moon clarifying the Four of Cups, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with. You're dealing with. Uh, the moon is the personal Pisces card. Or, you know, the moon is, first of all, you know, one of the most emotional cards in the deck. And second of all, the moon is about secrets, something hidden, and fear, right? So perhaps uh, you are a little bit afraid of the fact that this person is going to screw you over again. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because they've already done it once or twice, right? And uh, the moon, uh, you, you just intuitively know that this person is either hiding something from you or they are not telling you the whole truth, something murky, right? It's like you, you, can, you can tell, you can just tell that you know, they are shady. Perhaps they were shading in the past and uh, they are even more shady now. And therefore, uh, that, like I said, you're sending them back to the past where they belong. Aries, uh, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have uh, the Empress, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups, and uh, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or um, any Zodiac sign. Um, whatever the situation is, whatever the scenario is, and I'll go over a couple of scenarios in just a second, um, expect a very romantic, loving gesture. A very romantic, loving gesture. <laughs> That's what the spread is all about, right? So no matter what the what the situation is, you know, expect lots and lots of love, and expect to be definitely happy and satisfied. <laughs> all right. So um, the Ace of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups right next to the deck. That's what I was just referring to. You know, just one of those two cards, either the Ace of Cups or the Knight of Cups, would have been a very romantic gesture. When two of them are in the, sp in the same spread, especially when one is clarifying the other, it doesn't matter which is clarifying which, it's like, you know, times two. Uh, a love offer or a confession of love or a very romantic gesture times two. <laughs> you could be dealing with a water sign, right, with that Knight of Cups. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but again, lots and lots of love. The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Um, so let's talk about those two, uh, two or three scenarios. We'll see how, how, how it goes. I can think of a couple scenarios, right? The Three of Pentacles, the first card that came out, 
it, uh, it could be a card of collaboration. So um, you could be um, meeting this person uh, in some kind of a workplace environment or business place environment, or say you take a yoga class, you, you go to gym, or um, you do something over the weekend with a bunch of people, perhaps you all go hiking together or something like that, right? So expect, uh, if this is a new person entering your life, they're not really new, right? Because they're, they're already in your life. They've been in your life for a little while. Um, expect a person from the group to confess their love to you. <laughs> all right? Um, for others of you, um, uh, and you're the Empress, by the way, Aries, right? Not that anybody doubts that you're the Empress, right? That's the way this, this person sees you from the, from the beginning. You're the Empress. And uh, the Empress is um, a future wife or a future significant other figure. The Empress is somebody who is being admired, right? Uh, they're putting you up on a pedestal. And uh, you definitely know your worth, Aries, right? You're sitting back on your throne. You know you're the Empress. The Empress does not require an introduction because everybody knows who the Empress is. That's you, Aries, right? For others of you, if uh, you are already in a relationship or you're married, then you're still the Empress. You're a wife or a husband or a significant other figure, boyfriend, girlfriend, what have you, right? And um, um, they are, for whatever reason, or perhaps you do have an occasion or a reason, um, they're going to do something very romantic for you something very very romantic just to show you how much they love you how much they appreciate you right and uh, how much they cherish you the three of pentacles it could be um you know perhaps you've done something perhaps they appreciate everything you've done for them and uh, everything you do for this family or for this relationship because the three of pentacles is still a card of collaboration Right? Perhaps they're just going to, you know, it, it's kind of like a recognition, you know, they're going to be like, yes, I, I love you so much, thank you so much for doing everything you're doing for the family or for this relationship. All right, so yeah, expect a very romantic <laughs> gesture, Aries. Leo, we have Justice, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Sun, and uh, we have uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or even another Leo or any zodiac sign. Well, here's the deal, Leo. There is a conversation coming up. It could be you who is initiating this conversation or it could be somebody else, okay? And uh, the reason I'm, I, I think that could be you because the Ace of Swords is qualified by the Sun, right? The Sun is one of your cards, Leo. That's one of your major arcana cards. Right, and uh, the Ace of Swords is that conversation, right? So it could be you who is initiating it, right? Um, um, and it kind of feels like somebody here, if it's not you, then somebody here wants to set the record straight. If, if that's you, then, then that's you who wants to set the record straight, right? It could be an apology coming up, right? Because uh, both Justice and the Page of Cups could be apology cards. And uh, therefore, somebody here wants to apologize and set the record straight. Perhaps you misunderstood. Perhaps because of all these uh, retrogrades right now, there could be a lot of misunderstanding, right? We got six planets in retrograde right now, including our beloved Mercury, <laughs> okay? Um, so whatever, the, whatever is going on, there's definitely a conversation coming up. And it's going to be a very serious conversation. These are some serious cards. Well, the Page of Cups is not really serious. Uh, but, um, you know, the Page of Cups could be somebody either, like I said, apologizing to you or perhaps somebody wants to, uh, you know, grab a cup of coffee, grab uh, a bite together. And uh, if you say, yes, let's do this, that's when uh, they will want to talk to you about something, right? And uh, this is obviously somebody you already know, right? And it's, you see how the Justice, how in the Justice card the person is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords, right? So a serious conversation. Clarity. Perhaps you need to clear things up or get on the same page with somebody. Um, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck is a very serious card, just like Justice, right? The Hierophant is um, a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, or uh, the Hierophant could be about something formal, something official, right? So this right here doesn't have to be about love necessarily. It could just be two people, um, you know, having this conversation, clearing things out, you know, setting the record straight. Um, so, yeah, you do have a conversation coming up. All right? Cool. 
Sagittarius, uh, we have uh, Temperance clarified by the Five of Wands, uh, we have the King of Wands clarified by the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands, <laughs> and we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. I think you're dealing with a fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. Well, Sagittarius, my table almost caught on fire, and not because of the candle, <laughs> no, <laughs> look at that. Pretty much all cards except for the card on the bottom of the deck is a, a ones card, a fire sign indicator, right? So it's gonna get hot, it's gonna get hot. And by the way, you're dealing with somebody from the past, right? I'm not surprised because we have six planets in retrograde right now, including our beloved Mercury, and that makes total sense. So you will be dealing with an X. If you have a fire sign X or somebody who is a, who's got a lot of fire in their, in their chart, then uh, this is a reconciliation attempt. Okay, yeah, Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. We got the King and the Queen of Wands. You can assign the roles as you wish. You could be the King or the Queen. It doesn't really matter to me. Temperance, the first card that came out, is actually your card, your major iconic card, Sagittarius, right? But as some of you may already know, the same card could be interpreted in multiple ways, even in the same spread. So Temperance could be about healing, bearing the hatchet, getting back together, rekindling, reconciling. And that makes total sense because... Uh, temperance is clarified by the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of a conflict, you know, a very heated discussion. Um, and uh, yes, it's, it is going to be a heated discussion, right? Uh, it could be a blame game at some point. Oh, you did this, or no, you did that, this and that. You get the idea. So my suggestion to you guys, I think you have a, a chance to patch things up. Um, therefore, kiss and make up. <laughs> Instead of fighting, Instead of uh, blaming each other, just sit down and have that conversation, like two adults, all right? Um, every relationship is a two-way street. Every single one of them is a two-way street. There is always room to compromise. You know, we are in each other's lives to, to make each other's lives better, hence the name of the channel, <laughs> right? So instead of making each other's lives miserable, make each other's lives better. Think of different ways you can do that, you know? Think of different ways you can you can definitely do that. Um, th you have a, such a potential because you know. I see this Ace of Wands uh, clarifying the King of Wands. So yes, I think you guys are going to get into that heated discussion. But then, um, you know, like I I hope you will follow my advice. You will kiss and make up <laughs> with that Ace of Wands. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.